Hey pretty people, it's your boy Nathan Cha and today we're here with more tea and also a tiny little gender chat. So I don't know if you folks know, but I know it, I'm non-binary and for me that has a lot of like different implications and I've come to learn over time something I really love is that a lot of people have very different interpretations of that word, of that identity, and they do a lot of different things with it, with their expression and, you know, like their bodies, like they decide to transition or not socially, medically or not at all, or in their own personal way. And that's really fucking cool. And I just love that there is a thing like that right now that is also, you know, present over like various cultures. So yeah, it's really nice that we can like embrace that as international people and like have that going for us. I have had a chat on my Instagram platform, which you can actually follow. It's at Nathan Cha underscore. Go give me a follow and likes. Love you. But I've actually had a really interesting chat with a couple of folks on there recently because I've had the feeling like in the non-binary community we've had some sort of like influx of ideas that it's kind of fucked up if you cling to ideas that have been imposed on you by society. So like that's a masculine trait, that's a feminine trait. And you know, to me personally, I get where people are coming from. Like. I've grown up with gender roles that have hurt me and still do, as have a lot of other people. So I totally get why people want to get rid of it. And I like, I support you in like you know, abolishing whatever hurts you. But at the same time, I kind of like was thinking about the fact that I really tend to vibe with masculinity in a way while totally embracing everything femme. So, you know, for me, it's always like, I can't really find that space in myself anymore where I was like super agender because I'm more on a sort of like gender fluid androgynous spectrum, whatever the fuck that means and however the fuck that will evolve with time. But I've just realized that I think it's quite important that we don't have this like one for all view on what non-binary is because it's everything. It's so much. There is a lot of people like me out there who are non-binary but who use binary pronouns like she, her or he, him. And honestly, in my opinion, I'm like, I don't see how these two things cancel each other out because non-binary people don't just use they, them pronouns, but a lot of people also don't use any pronouns at all or ze, her, or like a lot of different pronouns, neo pronouns, you know, you can do it all. It doesn't, it doesn't invalidate you as an NB person. And for me, it was really nice to have these discussions with people to see how they relate to it and their personal experiences with it. Because at the end of the day, non-binary is an umbrella term as well as a name for an identity. And it can encompass all of these different things. Some people say being gender fluid or gender queer, demi boy, demi girl, all of the spectrum kind of like fits into that idea of non-binary because you're technically not really super binary in that sense. So like, that makes sense, right? Um, so yeah, it was really nice to get that insight. And if you have any opinions on this, I would love to hear them. If you want, you can leave them down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. What's your personal experience with this? Um, do you have anything you want to share? And as always, like, share and subscribe. You can smash that bell button down there somewhere and subscribe to me so you can always see when I upload something new. Cool. Nice having you here, folks. I hope you have a wonderful day and take good care.